When I heard that there was this mysterious temple that would disappear twice a day, I knew that I had to look a little bit deeper. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to my channel or simply not yet subscribed, my name is Brittany and definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. And comment down below and click the bell thing and click and hit the bell down below. Okay. Bye! So let's dive into the Shiva temple. Now just bear with me because I'm horrible at pronunciation. India is filled with mysterious and ancient temples, one of which being the Shiva temple. And this temple literally disappears twice a day. The Shiva temple lies in the Kavi Kamboi village in Jambusar, Yurja. It's known as the Lost Temple, and it's built in honor of Lord Shiva. It's one of the oldest temple that's dedicated to him. The temple itself is shaped like a pentagon and it's connected to the shore by a bridge. The shilling is four feet in height and the temple submerges during high tide and reappears during low tides. The sanctum will get fully covered in seawater from the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Cambay twice a day, where only the top of the structure remains above water. Let's dive into the lore. Tara Kusar was a demon, and as most demons, he wasn't a good demon. He would kill innocent people and would drink their blood, so kind of like a vampire type demon. However, even though he was a demon, he was also a huge devotee to Lord Shiva. Because of this devotion, he wanted to impress him. We all want to impress the people that inspire us, I guess. So he underwent intense penance to Lord Brahma. And this was in order to impress Lord Shiva, which he did accomplish by doing this. But it wasn't just to impress Lord Shiva, no. He obviously wanted to benefit himself as much as he could. So he took advantage of that penance. And Tarakasur asked for a boon or to shield him from death. But death is inevitable. So Lord Brahma was like, hey, nope, you can't pick that. You got to choose something else. And Tarakasur did. He requested that he could only die by the hands of Lord Shiva's six-year-old son. And Lord Brahma granted his wish. This had made Tarakasar feel invincible. He's like, oh, yeah. his six-year-old son, never gonna get me. So he went on this rampage, just massive destruction in the three worlds. During this rampage, he began to slaughter gods. And even though Tarkasar was a very big devotee to Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva acknowledged, like, this is so terrible that I need to put a stop to this. So knowing what his boon was, he created his son, Kartikeya, from his third eye. When Kartikeya turned six years old, he did end up killing Tarkasar. And with Tarkasar's death, the chaos stopped. He had placed a spear through his chest. And all of the gods and deities were so happy. Like the chaos had ended and Tarkasar was finally dead. But Kartikaya felt otherwise. He felt guilty that he had killed him because he was such a large devotee of his father. Kartikaya went to Lord Shiva and asked for atonement for his sins. Lord Vishnu kind of overheard this and had told Kartikaya that basically he had nothing to feel guilty of, that Tarkasar was so horrible that he shouldn't mourn his death and he shouldn't feel guilty for helping others by killing him. But that didn't make Kartikaya feel really any better. So Lord Vishnu suggested that he put down Shiv Lingas in order to worship Lord Shiva. Yeah. So Kartikaya did just that and he laid down Shiv Lingas all throughout India. One that he laid down is at the Kavi Kamboi in 
Gujarat. So it is now known as the Stambheshwar Mahadurv Temple. It's believed that the sight of flowers floating in the sea actually fulfills wishes and dreams of the devotees. So with this, Kartikeya was absolved of his sins. In another version of this, after Kartikeya had killed Tarakasar, he actually instilled Shiva Linga in the site that he had killed him as a token of appreciation of how devoted to Lord Shiva Tarakasar was. I love ancient lore. I love learning about it. And I think that this would just be a very incredible place to see and experience. Let me know if you guys have ever been there in the comments down below. I would love to hear about your experience. And make sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button. It helps me so much, you guys. And until next time, I love you guys. Bye.